now ask the clerk to read a resolve the title uh, only of resolve 16 resolve 16 asking the u.s congress to end the expenditure of our citizens tax dollars for excessive and unaffordable war funding sponsored by councillors john m anton dory richards waxman and daniel s skolnick councillor anton i know you were um i think are, are working on this first one only need listen to the conversation uh, we had today in the presentation of the city budget and the school budget about the priority setting that we are doing at the local level in terms of budgeting. Um, uh, policymakers at all levels of government, state, local, federal, set policies when they make budgets. And our federal government is no exception. The Hall School needs to be rebuilt. We don't have the money to do that. Um, the school budget, uh, there's $4 million in this year's school budget that comes from the ARA stabilization funds. That money goes away next year, and we don't have $4 million to replace that. What I consider this resolution to do is to communicate, or as us, if it should it pass, the, the elected leaders of this city to our elected representatives in, in Washington that we would like them to change their budget priorities. Um, and or we also have very specific budget uh, alternatives that we think the money would be better spent on. Councilor Waxman. Councilor Anton for being so articulate and uh, thoughtful with his comments because um, that's why I'm standing here supporting this and I did call Gary back but um, I've supported it from the beginning and it's nice to not stand alone on something like this but to stand with a couple of other counselors co-sponsoring it so thank you Washington seems to be blind to what we sacrifice in health care education environment environmental protection and public transportation in order to mistakenly bomb innocent families at weddings and at funerals and war on everyone in Afghanistan in pursuit of several dozen terrorists hiding in Pakistan. If my Portland friends are an index, and I think they are, the citizens of Portland see the connection between the lack of critical government services and this needless war with no end in sight or identified. It's time to bring the tax dollars home. The real part is the mother in Portland who doesn't have food and clothes to send her kids to school. Or it's an older man who's in severe pain, and yet the service that could have relieved him is no longer available because of the cuts. Or it's the person who today, or maybe tomorrow, is going to arrive home and say, I lost my job. And that's where every, we all know this. We all see this going right on around us. And of course, Maine has spent $2.5 billion just as Maine's allocation to this war in another country. One of the things I hate about this war is that it is endless. It will be endless. It will go on forever because every time the United States military bombs a house, rapes a woman, kills people, we make more enemies, not less. Because I do think that it's crucial, given that we have government of the people, by the people, and for the people, that we uh, voice our concerns to the, our federal representatives who are in the most direct position to influence this type of policy. It rips the social fabric of our own community because we can't put our kids through school and we can't pave our potholes and we can't clear our sidewalks of snow and we can't make sure that we have enough police officers on the street at any given time. I agree with the, the theory of the resolution that federal funding could be used in different ways but I think this resolve calling for all of our funding, uh, all of the funding to be completely withdrawn um, would cripple the plans of removing the troops in a, in a, in a well thought out way. I, we've heard words of unjust or just wars. I think the real fact is that we need a sustainable plan to help bring, this, bring our U.S. troops back to this country, get out of where we are, and do it in a, a well thought out way. I think this talks a little bit about micromanaging. 
I know that we get a lot of advice from people about how we should manage our budget. Uh, we, in turn, uh, are turning to our federal colleagues to tell them how to manage their budget. I do believe that the City Council does have the right to uh, pass resolutions basing things that concern the City of Portland. I do think this does um, does affect the City of Portland, and I think that we have a right to communicate with our, our representatives on the state level or the federal level on any way we, we wish. If uh, they choose to agree with us, that's fine. If they choose to disagree with us, that's also fine. They're elected. They can vote um, as they wish on that. We spend twice as much on war than the rest of the world does combined. And uh, we desperately need some money for our schools and for our health care system and for our infrastructure uh, and to invest in our future generations. I want to be clear that uh, none of my communication is to people who are in the uh, serve in the military, but it's to the leaders who make the decisions about where the people who serve in the military go. Supply to the current administration a uh, clear message that there is strong constituency support for getting out of these wars. Um, I don't want them to be down there engaged in the big issues and uh, lose track of the urgency of moving forward with a policy of disengaging um, in Iraq and Afghanistan. We in my family have been uh, blessed to have my nephew return from the Iraq uh, conflict um, and I know uh, there are other families in my sister's neighborhood who whose uh, sons did not return. Uh, I do struggle with the role of the council in resolutions such that we advise our federal representatives on federal policy. Nevertheless, I'll be voting for the resolution because it is on our agenda, and I know how I feel about it, but I want to be clear that I don't vote yes in solidarity with anybody who says anything negative about the brave people who fight for our country. I have no problem with uh, um, voting on these type issues. I've done it many times in my time on the council. Um, we're elected by people in this city, and, and uh, um, I, when, when, when we're elected, people know that we vote on a variety of things, including oftentimes resolutions uh, such as this. So um, I don't struggle with that part of it. I, uh, I um, have no problem passing these, com uh, these comments along to our elected officials. Um, and I want to echo Councillor uh, Anton and Councillor Donahue's comments about the people who who are serving. Um, we have many residents in Portland and in the state of Maine who have served in the military and are currently in the military and currently in Afghanistan or in Iraq and, and uh, have a great deal of appreciation for what they're doing, uh, what they have done, and for the uh, soldiers across this country who are, have risked their lives, lost their lives, and will continue to do so. Um, so we owe them a, a debt of gratitude. Um, so I'm very happy to support this. Uh, with that, I'm going to call for a vote. All in favor? All opposed? Passes 7-1.